Hey y'all. Sure, y'all can see all of me. Hello. Hello everyone. Good evening y'all. We're going to go ahead and get started here in a little bit. I hope y'all are feeling good in your bodies today. You notice that the setting is a little bit different. Let me make sure I take off my necklace so I don't bump up against it. But you notice the setting is a little bit different today. You are actually in my apartment, so welcome. <laughs> Welcome to my home, y'all. This is my little yoga area. If y'all have been following me on YouTube, you recognize this space very well because this is where I film my YouTube videos. Perfect. Thanks, Craig. And if you follow me on an Instagram, which I hope y'all are doing at Yoga by Biala, you know that I'm coming to the tail end of my quarantine, I did get COVID. I am feeling really good. And for that reason, I am filming our live stream from home today. So a little bit of a different setting. You go, I got my, my little plant babies here. I don't have animals and I'm not a human mama yet, but I'm 100%, 100%. A plant mama. So I have, I have about over 10 plants in my house. I have a lot of, a lot of plants. I love the greenery. So I hope you all are enjoying being in my space. It is a pleasure to have you here. This is a little bit more of an intimate setting, but you know, I'm going to get down with it for today. My lighting is going on. Audio is coming in through you might see a little bit of a shadow, obviously, because we don't have all of the fancier tools of the studio. So we're making do with some of the things that I have today, but I think it'll be all good for today's practice. We are going to be doing a yoga sculpt practice, which is actually a more modern practice than some of the more traditional practices that I've been doing lately. So yoga sculpt actually utilizes very light weights throughout the practice 
to strengthen your more intrinsic muscles. So those are your deeper muscles that are closer to your bones. So we're getting into a lot of those smaller twitch muscles that aren't necessarily always as activated um, as your bigger muscles when we're moving through asana. So we're gonna get into those smaller twitch muscles, those more intrinsic muscles closest to your core being, closest to your bones and focus on strengthening those. This is going to be a pretty powerful flow. I would say it's gonna be pretty energizing. And if you don't have weight, that's all good. We're just gonna be using cans, y'all, just cans. These will be our weights. So the weight is going to be very small. If you don't have it already, go ahead and grab two cans of beans, garbanzo beans, black pantone beans, whatever you got. This is going to be a yoga sculpt practice, and we're going to be adding a little bit of weight. So go ahead and grab your cans. That's all you're going to need. We will also be using two yoga blocks. Now that's optional. So if you don't have yoga blocks, that's fine. You can always substitute out yoga blocks with some books, but you want to definitely grab your cans because we will be using lightweight in today's practice. I see someone is here. I can read the comments. Hey, Tamika, welcome. Yes, so you can definitely watch now and practice in the morning. I encourage you to flow with me now, Tamika, if you have the energy or if you're up for it. It's going to be a 30-minute practice, so it'll be short and sweet. Also, I do have a new AM self-love flow up on YouTube that I posted on Monday. And it's also about 30 minutes. It's a nice, short and sweet self-love flow that you can do in the mornings before you go to your laptop, you go to your emails, before you talk to anybody, before you get on socials, definitely. It's a way that you can really begin to cultivate um, some self-intimacy, which I feel like is an extension of self-love. Self-love is rooted in self-intimacy, and that is just all about cultivating a state of intimacy, intimacy with oneself, into me see, seeing into oneself. And the more we can begin to do that right in the morning, um, the more we grow in self-love. It's a way to cultivate intimacy with ourselves. Now, this is a practice, y'all. So some days you do that, some days you don't. I am 100% guilty of that. Some mornings I reach for my phone. I really try not to, but I just reach for my phone and I end up scrolling on Instagram and I fall victim to that. And other mornings I just get up, I go to the gym or I go on my mat and cultivating that state of intimacy without allowing myself to be bothered with anything else right in the morning, uh, it cultivates such a deep self-love and self-appreciation. I, I build admiration within myself by doing that. So that self-love flow is up there. But yeah, if you want to join us, you can, jo you can join us now or you can hang. Yeah, you can just hang and watch because this practice will be on my page. I did create a live stream playlist. So we'll slowly start to add some of our live streams on my YouTube channel. And then you can also still find some of them on my non-performative yoga platform, IA, which is iawell.com. It's I-Y-A-W-E-L-L.com. So more longer form, deeper, more intrinsic practices, non-performative yoga practices will be on IA, and those will be available for purchase. And more shorter form practices will be here on my YouTube channel. You'll also find more yoga education on IA. So if you are a yoga instructor, a wellness entrepreneur looking to really grow in your yoga practice in a place in a way that's non-performative, that's where you can go to take our 200-hour yoga teacher training. We are also building out a mentorship program and some other ways to really provide education for folks in the wellness space, including instructors, first and foremost for instructors. So we're going to start right at the top of the hour. It's what time is it right now? It's 5.56. Welcome, y'all. Good to see you. I see y'all in the comments. As I was saying, y'all, welcome to my home. You usually don't see me doing the live streams in my apartment. 
but welcome to my home. This is where I film. If y'all follow me, or if you're subscribed to my YouTube channel, this looks very familiar to you because this is where I film all my YouTube videos. But if you've just been joining the live streams and you're used to seeing me in our studio, I'm here today because I am recovering. I was a little bit under the weather, a little sick. And so I'm recovering at home today, but I still wanted to make sure I brought y'all a really nice, juicy practice. This is going to be a power sculpt yoga class and sculpt classes or yoga sculpt actually utilize very light weights to tap into the more deeper intrinsic muscles and also your smaller twitch muscles that are a little bit, they're very tiny, but also the muscles that are closer to your bone. So really focusing on strengthening that. This is going to be a really energizing flow, but it's going to be short and sweet. So it's something that you can return back to if you're really looking to build heat quickly in your body. Just an update, y'all. Man, let me do a little, just a little check in as to what's been going on. If y'all follow me on the gram, you know that I'm an emotional person. I'm very sensitive. So I've been talking a lot about moving through my emotions. I've also been moving through this place where instead of trying to figure out so much what's working. I'm trying to really focus on finding more joy in the work that I do. And that looks like a lot of different things um, and really tapping into my creative expression. I love, love, love um, sequencing because I can be really creative when I sequence. I love creating programs. And we actually have a really exciting challenge coming in the new year. It's the Trap Flow Body Liberation Challenge. Trap Flow is a hip hop yoga practice that I founded a few years ago. And so you'll be getting like 20 different Trap Flow practices. So I'm really excited to show that, showcase that. But that, like things like that, really allow me to be in my creativity. So I've kind of been in that space. Well, what brings me joy and what gives me permission to explore myself creatively in new outlets, not just uh, beyond movement, but other, other ways and really beginning to explore what that looks and feels like in my body. So that's kind of where I've been, y'all. Also, it's the holidays. And the holidays can have some like up and down feelings. I've been feeling really good about the holidays. My, my, my older bro is coming into town from Atlanta with his new wifey. And I haven't really met her yet. So I'm excited to meet her on my screen or a little. Just a little, you know, I'm a screener in, in a nice way, though, y'all. And just spending time with my, my family, with my, my dad and my, my new little brother. He's only two years old. And I'm looking forward to that. So the holidays are here, y'all. I know we're doing a lot of festive things. A lot of us are with our families, trying to cultivate some boundaries. A lot of us are being real, real holly right now, getting our drink on, getting our eat on. I know I've been the one doing that over here. Welcome, y'all. <laughs> Too late to screen. No, girl, you can still, you can still join if you'd like. Find what feels good for you. All right, y'all, it's six o'clock. I'm gonna grab my water and we're gonna go ahead and get started with our yoga sculpt practice. Remember, you wanna grab two cans of food, y'all, cause that's gonna be our makeshift weight today. So you wanna go ahead and grab two canned foods. These are gonna be our weights that we're gonna be using for today's practice. If you're just joining, welcome. My name is Abiyala Akani. You are in my home, so it's a pleasure to have y'all. I usually do my live streams. Our live streams are usually hosted in our studio is where we film them with all the fancy equipment. But today we're just using the bare minimum because I was a little bit under the weather. So I decided to stay home, keep everyone safe. So we are in my apartment. Welcome to my home, y'all. It's a pleasure to have you. If you are subscribed to my YouTube channel, this background looks real, real familiar with y'all. Oh, you hold on, y'all. I got to turn on my Christmas lights for you. So I don't have a Christmas tree, but I got my lights. So we got our lights going. Get the holiday season going. You see my lights? You see them? <laughs> so we got, we got the lights. 
Welcome to my home, y'all. We are going to be doing a yoga sculpt practice today. You're going to need two cans of food. We're going to add light weights to the practice. This is going to be an energizing practice, y'all. You will most likely be sweating, okay? Possibly, okay? You will build some heat and cultivate tapas, which is heat to like burn off dense energy that we don't want to be having or doesn't serve us. So we're going to build some tapas today. We're going to build some major heat. Definitely grab your soup cans. And if you have two yoga blocks, that's even better. You don't need these. These are not required. You can also substitute these out with two big ass Harry Potter books. They are basically the same size or large books that are about this size. If you don't have yoga blocks, grab some books. If you don't have large books, just nix it. You don't need either of these. These are optional, um, but you definitely want to grab some cans of food, two cans of food for today's practice. I want to make sure we give honor to the land we are on. I live in Seattle, Washington. This is the land of the Duwamish people. I want to make sure we honor the indigenous peoples of the land that we are on. So let's go ahead and get started, y'all. We're going to go ahead and come into a tabletop position. I'm going to draw my soup cans to the top of the mat. I ain't going to open them. I'm not hungry yet. I'll get hungry after the practice. If you want to grab some water, you can do that as well. And just bring your blocks to the top of your mat. And we'll start here in what I like to call rolling cat cows, which are actually really indicative of the trap flow practice that I created and founded a few years ago. This is a version of cat cow that we tend to always do. So you're going to find a few of our trap flow movements in today's practice. Make sure you stay on the lookout for the trap flow challenge coming in the new year. 20 hip hop yoga practices to nourish your body and soul, y'all. So we're going to come into tabletop. Take a deep inhale here. Exhale out of the mouth, H-A. Let's add some movement. So you're going to find a deep scooping here. Scoop the heart forward, head up to the heavens, tailbone. Exhale, find your rolling cat cow. Scoop the head in towards the earth and in towards the groin here. Inhale, dip and scoop the heart forward. Head comes high to the heavens, tailbone tilts up, belly button drop down for your cow. Exhale, drop the chest towards the earth and scoop the head in towards the groin for your cat. Two more, inhale, dip and scoop the heart up to the heavens, lift up, find your cow pose. Exhale, dip and scoop the heart down and scoop the head in towards the groin for your cat once more. Inhale, dip and scoop the heart up towards the heavens. Hold here for your cow, tailbone lifts, heart and head lift up to the heavens, exhale. Drop the heart towards the earth. Hug those elbows in. Scoop the head and neck in towards your groin. Inhale, neutralize the spine. Walk the hands forward for a modified chaturanga. So your shoulders are going to be stacked over your wrist. Holding here. Pull the belly button up and in and expand the space behind your scapula. So we're holding here in this modified chaturanga. Exhale, elbows bend, lower halfway. Inhale, rise. You got four more. Exhale, lower halfway. Inhale, rise. Two more. Exhale. Or three more, <laughs> lower halfway. Inhale, rise. Now two more. Exhale, lower halfway. Inhale, rise. One more. Exhale, lower halfway. Inhale, rise. And then exhale, child's pose, hips to the heels, arms extend, long holding here. I'm going to keep my head lifted just so that I don't plug my mic. But for you, I invite you to draw your forehead or your third eye towards the earth. Continue to hold here. Take a deep inhale. Fluid exhale, y'all. Inhale, let's ripple it up tabletop. Exhale, tuck the toes, lift the knees, hold here. 
in your tabletop. So your knees are hovering about an inch or two off of the earth in this version of tabletop. So usually in tabletop, the knees are planted. Notice what you're feeling here when you lift the knees and begin to really plug and draw your belly button up and in and engage your belly. So flex through the belly, keep expanding through the back of the heart. I know we're already building that heat. Stay with me all inhaling here for one fluid exhale. Inhale, downward facing dog. Hips come high. You can pedal off the knees one by one by one. Taking your dog for a walk. We won't be here long. Inhale, ripple it forward, tabletop. Exhale, drop the knees again. If you have your blocks, bring them somewhat close by here. And you're going to root your hands on your blocks in tabletop. Push your hands into the blocks, tuck of the toes, lift the knees. Notice anything different here. Hovering the knees about an inch or two off of the mat. With your hands on your blocks, do you feel anything different? Maybe it's not so much a restraint because you have that elevation and this is gonna help us with our tighter hamstrings or hips. And then inhale, three-legged dog. Now find down dog with hands on the blocks. Maybe the heels have more space to come down to the earth and relax the head and neck and invite the thighs towards the knees here, y'all. Continue to hold. Inhale, your right leg is gonna come high, three-legged dog. Exhale, invite your nose towards your knee. Inhale, three-legged dog, high plank, extend the leg back. And inhale, right leg comes high. Back to three-legged dog, exhale. Lunge, step it through with control. You're stepping that right leg through. Continue to hold. Heart extends, root the hands onto your right knee. Watch out for your plans. Lift up through the heart and the belly. Hands come high, y'all. Continue to hold here. High lunge. See if you can micro bend this back left knee for me. There you go. And notice where you feel it. You might feel a stretch on the front of that left thigh. So we want to keep that back. Left knee bent. Hands come high. Exhale. Windmill the hands straight back. Continue to hold. Inhale, hands come high, micro bend that left knee and slowly lower your left knee down. If you need to pad this left knee with a blanket, go ahead and do so, hands come high. Exhale, draw the hands on the inside of your right foot and hold here with control. Step your right leg back. Keep it lifted and engage your right foot like there's a wall there. Opposite hand extends, so left hand extends, moving into balance, take a deep inhale here. Focus your eye gaze on one point. Exhale, left elbow to the knee, hug it in. Inhale, extend that right leg back. Find that power in your belly, y'all. Pull the belly button up and in, see if you can lift taller here. Exhale, elbow comes in to kiss the knee. Inhale, extend the left arm, so we're finding those small intrinsic muscles. Yeah, you got them. Exhale, elbow comes into the knee. Inhale, left leg. Left arm comes, extends forward, right leg extends back. Exhale, lower the left hand, lower the right knee. Modified chaturanga. Let's walk the hands forward again, just like we did earlier. Shift your hips forward. Elbows stay over the shoulders. Shoulders stay over the wrists, and let's slowly lower to the tummy. Hands are gonna be on the outsides of the chest. Chin kisses the mat and then inhale. Cobra pose, little to no weight in the hands, y'all. You can even lift the hands to fly. Lift the heart and the belly. Exhale, root the hands, tabletop. Bring your blocks back to the top of the mat. Find downward facing dog with your hands on your blocks and come up high. I'm just adjusting my mic, y'all. Stay where you are. Continuing to hold here. Downward facing dog. Continuing to hold right here. Press the hips back, y'all. 
Just taking off my mic for a little so I don't plug it. Feel your heels kiss the earth. Root the hands here. Inhale, left leg comes high. Exhale, knee to the nose. Shift it forward, hold. Inhale, three-legged high plank. Shoulders over the wrist, extend that left leg back, hold. Inhale, three-legged dog, left leg comes high. Maybe pressing the right heel towards the earth. Feel that stretch in your calf. And then exhale, lunge. Step your left leg through. Backpack the hands onto the knees and lift up. When you're ready and you feel stable here, hands come high. Come to your high lunge. Hands come high. Remember what we did on the opposite side. Let's bend our back right knee to stretch the front of the thigh, but also pull your tailbone down. Hands come high here. Continue to lift, y'all. We're going to stay here for about three breaths. Notice if you're biting down on the jaw, where can I soften? Finding the stillness with the power within the heat. Where can I soften? Take a deep inhale. Exhale, hands come to heart center, and you slowly extend the hands high. Exhale, airplane arms, extend those hands straight back behind you, heart leads. Inhale, hands come high, micro bend that back right knee. And then exhale, slowly lower your right knee to the earth. You might pad the right knee if you need to. Hands come high, low lunge. Exhale, let's draw the hands on the inside, inside of your left leg. Slowly heel toe that left foot out. Gently step it back. Keep that back left foot engaged like there's a wall there. And then the right hand extends forward. Take a deep inhale here. Maybe your eye gaze looks down or in front of you at one point to cultivate balance. Exhale, elbow to knee, hug it in. Inhale, extend. Really lift up out of the heart, y'all. Find that solar plexus energy, that personal power. Exhale, elbow comes to the knee, fold it in. Inhale, let's extend it out. We got one more, y'all. Exhale, elbow to knee, hug it in. There's always gonna be challenge in yoga. Exhale, extend it out. We're not trying to run from the challenge. Slowly lower the right hand, lower the left knee. It's gonna find our edges to strengthen us, y'all. Inhale, modified chaturanga. We're gonna walk the hands forward again. Shoulders over the wrist. And I want you to avoid doing this. Pull the belly button up and in. Expand through the back of the heart. Hug the elbows in as you lower. Chin kisses the mouth. Inhale, we're gonna root our toenails into the earth and lift the heart, little to no weight in the hands. Cobra pose. Exhale, hands kiss the earth, chin kisses the mat and inhale, tabletop. Exhale, let's find our downward facing dog with our hands on our blocky blocks. Hands on our blocky blocks. Press the heels towards the earth. Now for me, y'all, I got tight calves, real tight calves. And I also have tight ankles, limited range of motion. So you might, you might know what that feels like too. You might feel me on this. So using the blocks, that extra, that added, <laughs> that added height, it gives me more space to bring my heels to the earth. Also, if you have wrist issues, hands on the blocks, super supportive, y'all. Inhale, let's do the opposite side. Right leg comes high. Exhale, knee to the nose. Like, Really hug it in here, hug it in. Inhale, one-legged, or exhale, one-legged high plank with the right leg back. Inhale, three-legged dog, right leg comes high. Exhale, lunge, step it through. Take a deep inhale, exhale. Step the left leg forward. You're in a forward fold. If you're still feeling tight in the hamstrings, you might take the blocks up on a higher setting to eat up some of that space, bring the earth higher to you. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine. Eye gaze still looking down, so the back of the neck is long. Exhale, forward fold, invite the forehead towards the knees, slurp it in. Inhale, grab your soup cans and bend the elbows, draw the body in, and exhale, release, come to stand. Now, when we are moving with weights, Hands always come to the body and then extend from here. 
So this is our range of motion. Hands always come to the body or they're out and then they extend. And that's just protecting the um, shoulder joints. So we're just gonna start coming to stand. And we're gonna find a bicep curl with a chair pose, Ukatasana, fierce pose. Take a deep inhale here. I'm gonna find eight sets. Chair with your bicep curl, come to stand. Chair. Three. Four. Four more. Five. Really working on that ankle range of motion. Six. Seven. Eight. Hold. Hands come high. Chair pose. Drawing the fists together so the soup cans come towards one another. It's okay if your shoulders are not alongside your ears. Focus more so on lengthening out that low back and really coming to sit in those ankles so we can really focus on lengthening the ankle mobility. If you can get the hands higher along the ears, that's wonderful. Exhale. Elbows come into the body and release. Inhale. We're going to add a bicep curl with a step back lunge. Left leg comes high. Exhale. Step the left leg back. Bend the left knee. Hands come high. Exhale. Bend the left knee. Come to stand. Eight more. Step it back. Bicep curl. Inhale. High lunge. Exhale. Bend the left knee. Bicep curl. Step it forward. Seven more. Bicep curl. Step the left leg back. Inhale. High lunge. Exhale. Bicep curl, bend the left knee. Step it forward, six more. I know that my leg is gonna burn, y'all. Inhale, bicep curl, bend the left knee. Exhale, come high. Bend the left knee, bicep curl. Step it forward. Inhale, step the left leg back, bicep curl. Exhale, come to stand. Inhale, bend the back left knee, bicep curl. And step it forward. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, step it back, bend the left knee. Inhale, come to stand. Exhale, bicep curl. Inhale, step it forward. Four more. Exhale, step it back. Inhale, come to stand. Exhale, bicep curl, bend the knee. Inhale, step it forward. Exhale, step it back. High lunge. Inhale, come to stand. Exhale, step it forward. Three more. Inhale, step it back. High lunge. Exhale, bend the back knee. Step it forward. Two more. Step it back. High lunge. Bend the knee. Step it forward. So <coughs> step back. High lunge. Whew. Bend the knee. Step it forward. One more. Step it back. High lunge. Bend the knee. Step it forward. Hold right here. Exhale. Elbows come to the ribs. Drop the left leg, warrior two. In warrior two, we always have a slight bend in the knees to protect the shoulder. So this is our warrior two. Inhale, left hand comes to the hip, right hand comes high, exalted warrior. So you don't bend back to protect the shoulders. Inhale, warrior two, bent elbows. Exhale, lengthen out the right leg, star pose. Inhale. Fists come together. So I'm just gonna turn around so y'all can see me. Fists come together. We're gonna slowly find a side lunge. So bend the right knee, getting to the hips, exhale, opposite side. Take it to the right, take it to the left. Take it to the right, take it to the left. This time we're gonna add hands, left hand, to the right leg, right hand comes high. Switch it up. Slow, switch it up. Slow, switch it up. Slow, switch it up. Slow, switch it up. Hold. Inhale, come back. Gotta squat. Inhale, star. Exhale, gotta squat. Inhale, star. Exhale, gotta squat. 
inhale, warrior two. So I'm just turning back to my original position. Scoring goddess squat, warrior two, pivot that right knee, bend those elbows. Inhale here, warrior two, exhale, elbows come to the ribs. Pivot and lunge first, draw your blocks or your soup cans in, lower them. Lower your blocks, step it back, high plank. Option, keep your hands on your blocks for chaturanga or you can drop the knees lower to the belly like we did before. If you're gonna stay on your blocks for chaturanga, watch shoulders over the wrist. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, lower halfway. Inhale, flip the toes here, upward facing dog. You might feel this feels a little bit safer in your low back or it might feel uncomfortable. If it feels uncomfortable, release, remove the blocks, exhale. Downward facing dog, y'all. Opposite side. Inhale, left leg comes high. Exhale, knee to the nose, shift it in, shift it in, shift it in. Inhale, three-legged dog, high plank, left leg extends back. Exhale. Come back to that full three-legged dog. Take a deep inhale. Exhale. Gently lunge. Step it through. And then from here, step that right leg forward. If the hamstrings are feeling tight, you might bring your block on a higher setting and just stepping back. Because I don't want to hurt my, my little plant baby here. Inhale. Halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana, long spine, like a table. Our eye gaze is down, y'all. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Curl the nose in towards the knees. Keep the knees bent so you can really have some slack in your hamstrings, y'all. And then inhale, grab your soup cans. Elbows come into the body. And then exhale. Let's lower. We're going to find those bicep curls again with our chair pose. Eight sets. Inhale. Find your chair and your bicep curl. Lengthen. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Four more, y'all. Three, two, and one. Come to rise. Remember, we're going to do the opposite leg. So root the left foot. Right knee comes high. Finding our bicep curl with our step back lunge. Step it back. Bend the knee. High lunge. Bend the knee. Step it forward. Step it back. High lunge, bend the knee, step it forward. That's two, step it back. High lunge, bend the knee, step it forward. That's three, we got eight, step it back. High lunge, bend the knee, step it forward. So that's four, step it back. High lunge, bend the knee, step it forward. That's five, step it back. High lunge, bend the knee, Step it forward, that's six, step it back. High lunge, bend the knee, step it forward. One more, step it back. High lunge, bend the knee. Warrior two, drop the right heel, elbows in towards the body. So I'm just opening my stance for wider warrior two. Elbows into the body, inhale, exalted warrior, right hip. Right hand to the hip, left hand comes high, so we don't, Extend back because we want to protect the shoulders. Inhale, star pose, elbows into the body, pivot the left toes in, fist. Come together with your soup cans. We're going to find that side lunge. Pivot the left toes out, bend it out. Exhale to the right. Inhale to the left. Exhale to the right. Inhale to the left. Exhale to the right. We're going to add the hands. Inhale to the left. Right hand. Exhale, opposite side. Left hand comes down. Right hand comes down. 
Left hand comes down. Right hand comes down. Left hand comes down. Come back, star pose. Draw your fists to the face. Pivot the heels in, toes out, goddess. Come to sit and stand. Sit and your goddess. Stand and star. Inhale, sit. Exhale, hold. Inhale, warrior two. Pivot your left toe. Top of the mat, elbows towards the ribs. Arms extend softly. Keep that bend. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, fists to the hips. Pivot to the front of your mat. Lower your soup cans first. Then you can lower your blocks. Step the left leg back, high plank. If you want to find high plank on your blocks or your books, shoulders over the wrists. Shift forward. Option for modified chaturanga on the knees or exhale lower halfway. Inhale, cobra or up dog. My thighs aren't kissing the earth. I'm pulling my shoulders back. Drop the knees. Child's pose, y'all. Resting here. Hands can stay on the block. That's going to open up through your serratus muscles. Those are where your underarms, the muscles right around your underarms. If you feel tight there or you want to open up through the heart, that is going to help really stretch those muscles. Taking it down from here, y'all. Once again, invite the forehead towards the earth. I'm going to keep my head lifted so I don't plug my mic. Continue to hold. Inhale, let's ripple it up, y'all. Come to sit in Varasana if it feels safe. So Varasana Thunderbolt, we're sitting on our knees. We're gonna come to a modified camel pose, which is a heart opening variation. Let's walk the hands behind us and you're going to tint the fingers. So you're gonna come on the tips of the fingers. You're gonna push the fingers into the earth and lift the heart up to the heavens. Your head and neck is gonna come back. So we find a little back bend here, holding here for five for four, for three, for two, for one. Invite your chin to your chest first. The head is heavy, move it slowly, and then exhale. Prayer pose, opening the knees wide, let the belly and the chest fall through. Prayer is just a variation of child's pose with the arms alongside the shins, bringing the heart down here. Option to interlace the hands behind you in a fist at your tailbone. Option to stay here or option to extend the fist up and over the head. Just ringing out the shoulders if this feels safe. If the shoulders feel sticky and tight, you can release the fist and grab a hold of a strap or a sock or a towel. And creating space through the fist is going to create more range of motion for you to find this movement in your shoulders. Choose your own adventure, y'all. Find what feels non-performative. But also lean into the challenge. Yoga's going to challenge you. We can't expect it to be easy. Inhale, let's come to lift, y'all. And exhale. Just slowly come to sit on our booties. We're just going to go about five minutes over for today's practice. I want to make sure we get into those hips because we did do a lot of strengthening. We want to make sure we lengthen as well a little bit more. So extend the legs forward, sweep the hands behind you, bend your knees and invite your right foot onto your left knee. Just coming to a seated figure four. Think of your left leg as a lever. The more I bend my lever, the deeper of a stretch I'm inviting into my outer right hip. If that's too much for me, y'all, you can lower your lever so you can control the depth of this hip opening. Notice if you're biting down on the jaw when we get into them hips, we start to bite down on the jaw, try to relax the mouth and soften here, right? So soften into the body. Also notice if you're shrugging through the shoulders, how can I embody more power even here? That's gonna come from my belly. So I'm gonna pull my belly button up and in. I'm gonna lift my heart long and stand in my power here, even in my stance. Continue to hold. Good 
Let's switch sides, extend the left leg. Right leg extends. And we're gonna invite our left foot onto our right knee. Let's bend our right lever. Notice any differences on the side. So noticing how the hips feel on one side versus the other. I see all your all's comments coming through. I can't, I can see them coming through, but I can't really see them. I can't really read them because they're real tiny, but I'll check them out when we close y'all. Little heads up, if you are looking to become a 200 hour yoga instructor, y'all, we are currently accepting applications for the EA Kin 200 hour yoga teacher training. That is my virtual non-performative yoga teacher training that I'm hosting with my other really talented and phenomenal facilitators. It starts March 1st and it goes till May 15th. If you feel that call to become an instructor and you're looking for a really intentional YTT, I invite you to head to the link in my bio or just head to eawell.com. Click on teacher training to apply. You can also find the link in any of my most recent videos. The link will be there. Exhale, slowly release y'all and just shake out the knees. And then let's just come into a wide-legged Supta Baddha Konasana, or this is also called Butterfly Pose. I'm going to turn to y'all here. If this bothers your low back, and you're finding that you're kind of crunching forward because the hips are tight, go ahead and stick a block or a pillow underneath the booty here, and that's going to help lift your low back. So we're going to draw the hands to the heels, push the heart forward, and just bow. Remember y'all, this yoga sculpt practice will remain on my YouTube channel under live streams. If you wanna return back to it, I strongly encourage you to find practices you love and come back to them again and again, cultivate ritual with those practices until you really feel like you feel strengthened in them. There's no reason to you know, always have to try something new all the time. There's such power in repetition. My first four years of practicing yoga was through traditional Bikram yoga. And as you all know, or some of y'all might know, Bikram yoga is just 26 set postures. It's the same postures every single class. And I learned something new for those four years every single day I practiced. So there's power in repetition. Explore a lot of variety, especially when you're cultivating a home practice. But also when you find a practice that really hits and you're like, this is challenging me. I wanna come back to this and move through this challenge do so. I encourage you to do so. There's such power in repetition. And when you're ready, you can lift up and come to whatever seated Shavasana feels good for you. We're going to close here. I like to come into Varasana Thunderbolt sitting on a block. You can stay in Sudha Baddha Konasana or come to a version of just crisscross applesauce. That feels good for you. I invite you to close the eyes here. or You can keep them open if that feels safe for you and your body. I also invite you to find whatever hand mudra feels intuitive to you and showcases gratitude for our practice today. So traditionally, palms are drawn together, a little space in between the palms, thumbs pressing into heart center. For Anjali mudra, it means to seal the practice. Take a deep inhale in through the nostrils, y'all. Exhale out of the mouth, H.A. We'll each repeat one time. I've done my best. I leave the rest. Thank you, fam. Have a beautiful rest of your evening, y'all. I hope you enjoyed this yoga sculpt practice. If you did, put it in the comments below. Helps me to know what kind of videos y'all enjoy making as we continue to build out our library over on EA Well. Once again, if you're looking to become a 200-hour yoga instructor, y'all, definitely head to eowell.com to apply. We'd love to have you. And we have a really, just a really phenomenal team of facilitators. If y'all have any questions, you can slide up in my DMs at Yoga by Biala on Instagram. Let me see what everyone's saying in the chat box. Ooh, hi, everyone. 
Yes, I'm so glad you enjoyed it, Mitchie. Welcome. Thank you, Squirrel. Hey, Olivia, good to see you. I think I saw you last time. If this is your first time, welcome back. Tamika, always good to have you, girl. Mon F, welcome, welcome. I'm glad y'all enjoyed the practice. Good to see you, Natasha. Oh, glad. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Yes, the yoga scope. So we will be doing actually trap flow yoga sculpt. So this is a little snippet. If y'all don't know, I created trap flow a few years ago. It's a hip hop yoga practice. A few of y'all have practiced it here on my YouTube channel. It's my most popular video. So we will be doing trap flow sculpt with weights in the new year. So make sure to stay on the lookout for the trap flow challenge in the new year, y'all. Have a good evening. Drink all your water, y'all. Drink all your water. <laughs> and I'll see y'all very soon. See you next week. Signing off here, everyone.